Hey, I guess you guys want to know what's inside of here, right? Listen, I've been brining my turkey since yesterday. We coming up on 20 hours. We finna go outside on my Rectech RT1250 and we finna smoke, folks. Okay, folks, so look, let's go ahead and get this turkey out. Y'all see that, right? Let's go ahead and grab him. Give him one last little dunk. Hold him up like this. Let him drain and we put it right there. Oh my goodness. This is gonna be juicy. Okay, so now we bring the, our turkey over here. Now this turkey was 13 pounds, if I hadn't said nothing already, right? So 13 pounds. And then back here, we're gonna do a little trim, just a little bit, right? I'm just gonna cut that off and maybe that off. We're gonna pat it dry and then we finna season. So like I said, listen, you wanna go ahead and just pat it dry, right? Okay, folks, so I'm gonna give you guys some options, right? A lot of people ask me, like, do I want to inject? I do have an injector, but this year I'm not going to inject at all. I just want to put some of that smoky flavor outside, you know, from my smoker, which is my Rectech RT, you know, 1250. So I got a compound butter right here. It's starting to get hard again. I put this back in the refrigerator. I put this underneath the skin of my chicken, right? And matter of fact, just to give you guys a heads up, look right here. You see that right there? Ooh, wee. Yes, sir. Now, bringing you back to this turkey over here. So, what I'm gonna do is, instead of putting the butter on and doing all of that, we're not injecting, we already brined. I know I got flavorful, you know, juicy breast meat and all of that, because a lot of people have trouble with that, right? So, I'm gonna be using my branch and vine. Look, this is my garlic infused, right? This is the bottle, that's the garlic. You guys can see what it looks like. I suggest everybody run out and get them some. And they got a new one called Fig. Mm. Wait till what you see what I do for Christmas. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and just put this on here like this. It's something about this and me working this, this bird, you know what I mean, with this oil on here, it's almost like I gave it a massage, kind of like what we do, you know what I mean? And then for my seasoning, I'm gonna be using my A seasoning from my Level Up series, right? This right here is great on poultry, but on top of that, this is just a, you know, a basic poultry blend. Super easy to make, stores good. You see I got it in that mason jar. This was full, but look at that right there. All right, so I'm gonna take my clean hand. I'm gonna go ahead and just give her a rub down. Now I'm gonna take my poultry blend, right? And we're just gonna start with this right here. We just start putting it on there. Don't forget, we got that branch and vine garlic infused olive oil. We're using that as a binder. You can see the way it just sits on here. Oh yeah. Okay, so you see, I got a lot of coverage. Let me turn this around on my side. Let me see what we're working with. Oh, we doing okay. You know why? Because we getting ready to come with my A seasoning, right? Remember folks, when you're doing chicken, this right here does it. Gives you that color too, you know what I mean? Look, oh yeah. Don't forget, this is a low sodium product. You know what I mean? So you don't have to, you only, well, you know what, for me, because of, you know, I watch, you know how much sodium intake that I take inside of my body. What I do is, I just add like a pinch to it. You know what I mean? I probably, you know, like if this was a, a actual dish, after I get it seasoned, I just add just a little bit to it, just enough to work, you know, wake it up. Okay, so now what I wanna do is, sometimes when you fold these back, you find out that you didn't get no seasoning, you know, all throughout, right? No worries, because we can always season it, you know, wherever it didn't get it, right? So check it out. I just take this, take the flap, take it like that, and I tuck it under. And now you guys will get a chance to see what I'm talking about. You see that right there? We gonna get some on there. Okay, folks, so look, now let me just check my grill. Okay, I'm gonna start off at 400 degrees. Take a look at that right there. You can see where I got it set for 400. It'll show you the temp where it's actually at. Now I can go outside and put this bird on. Okay, folks, so look, I'm gonna open this up. Luckily, we're using the pellet grill, right? Rectech is good at bringing back my temperature. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this. I'm gonna keep it on the rack. Drop this right here. And then I'm gonna close it and it'll go ahead and pick up everything else, you know, as far as getting my uh, heat back up to temp. Okay, folks, so look, you know, I, so, I told you I'm at 400 degrees, right? 400 degrees for 30 minutes, then I'm gonna drop the temperature down to about 335 degrees for the remainder of the cook. We'll be checking it with my meat thermometer and uh, we'll go from there. All right, so now I'm just gonna turn it because I like everything to be even, right? So I'll put this in here like that, close this back down so we can get our temp up. 
and we're gonna let that go about another 15, 20 minutes. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is, I do everything evenly. Whenever I check, I try to keep my number right. So let's say if I check in 30, next 30 minutes, I would probably rotate it and do that, right? So we got this here. I'm gonna close this down. Now I'm gonna come over here. We're gonna go to my actual, right? I had it set for 425. Now I'm getting ready to lower this. You know what I mean? If you look right here, we're gonna lower this to about 325. And then we're finna let it work. Trust me, folks, this right here is gonna be incredible. Okay, folks, so look, here it is. Look at the color. This is what I'm talking about. You see that right there? That's what you wanna put on there on your table. Not only is this gonna be great, but the presentation the presentation is just outstanding, right? So again, here I am with my slicer. Here you guys can see, smoking and grilling with AB. We got a 12 inch, it's super sharp, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and just cut a piece right here like this. And you can see how it just cuts through this like butter, right? But then you wanna know like, is it juicy? So what I'll do is I'll just cut it down like that. I'll pull this over there and you look at that. You see that right there? And don't forget, I let this sit up for about 15 minutes so I can touch it. But you see how it just opens up right there? This is breast, folks. Let me go ahead and get another one for those of you guys that think that that was a fluke. So listen, if you're new to brining, after you brine now, you probably won't never do it no other kind of way. Now, if you want to have a specific, you know, taste, right? Look at that right there. Oh, my goodness. You can inject, inject also, right? But I can tell you, please give brining a chance by itself. Yeah, I promise you after that, you'll run back, you'll find this video and you'll leave me a comment no matter what part of the year or what time of the year it is. All right, so take this, cut that off, open it like this. And you wanna see that? That right there is some juicy meat. Okay, folks, look, I'm about to carve this up and get it ready for some, you know, to lay it out for tomorrow, right? Be honest with you, I'm finna make myself a couple of sandwiches too. Hey, with that being said, listen, this is my tool of choice. This was my Rectech RT 1250. Right, this right here is fire. This is what gave it that color. You know what I mean? We had this separate chamber over here on this side, and this is what gave us the money, folks. I'm gonna go ahead and get it cleaned up because I got to do, hmm, let's just see, I got to do, I think four more. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna go ahead and get them out the way. But I can just tell you, listen, that's the blend. Don't forget to look in the description box below, and I'll put exactly the type of pellets that I use and all of that. So with that being said, I'm finna carve this down. I'm finna pull my other four that I got in buckets in the inside, and we about to smoke, folks. And if I hadn't said it already, I wanna tell everybody that's watching this video, check this out, folks. Happy Thanksgiving to you and your family. And you know what I'm about to do. I'm out. Peace.